Good morning, YouTube. Um, so, gonna make a quick video on the Nissan Suarez, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, Suarez versus Nissan headlight settlement, because today I just got my check for $1,200 because of these headlights. So, um, basically, long story short, uh, when I bought the car, I realized that the, the headlights were just too dim. I thought it was the bulbs. I replaced them with these LEDs right away. They brightened it up a lot, but you know, it was never compared to like my, my dad's car and all the other cars in my family, which have LEDs, same brand, uh, Laze Fit, Laser Fit, um, whatever. They weren't as bright. Um, so, ended up taking them to my like trusted mechanic, um, and ended up swapping out the headlights with the like OEM ones. I didn't want to fuck with like eBay versions at the time, the car was still newer to me. Right, didn't care. You can hear my compressor going and my AC's working beautifully. We're gonna go back in the car right now um, because it's fucking 94 degrees out right now. But, um, long story short, the headlight has like a, inside the projector beam, there's I guess some type of like reflective material inside of it and it like melts or burns away or something like that. And when it does that, the, laser, the light cannot project as far as bright as it's supposed to, right? right into that little eyeball right there. So, we're gonna go back in the car now because it's boiling hot. Let's zoom a little bit. Oh yes, oh God. So, oh yes. Ah! Okay, so, basically, uh, about September-ish, I got a letter in the mail saying that there's a settlement class action lawsuit going on from some person named Suarez and their legal team to Nissan. Um, and if you've been affected, uh, basically you could go, um, just a couple options. One of them was take your car, your Nissan Altima 2013 to 2018 to a dealership, Nissan dealership, or have them look at the headlights. If they deem the headlights needing to be replaced, the housings because they're melted, they'll replace them. Or if you already did it, you can submit a receipt for up to twelve hundred dollars, and they'll reimburse you up to twelve hundred. So, um, I already had them done. I found the receipt. Keep everything in the glove compartment for this car. If one of you guys buys this car, if something happened, I sold this car. Whoever bought it would have a beautiful service history in this car. Everything's in that glove compartment. But I went and dug through it, found the receipt, took a photo of it, filled out this online thing where you put like your VIN number. Um, the receipt, basically that was it. And I waited, this was in September. Um, and I, you know, looked online, there weren't really anyone talking about it, except for like maybe Reddit. Um, I saw like one or two articles when it first came out. But, um, the people on Reddit were saying that when they did go to the Nissan dealership, the Nissan refused to do it. It's like the headlights were fine. Or they said, uh, yeah, we'll do it, but it's gonna take like a couple months for the parts of the headlights to come in. So it's just a waiting game, it's fine. Uh, I just got my check mid-July 2022 I, there's no they didn't tell me if I was approved the whole time they didn't give me any updates I put it in in September never heard back from them thought eh man I don't know what the fuck's going on whatever yeah mid-July they said oh the, the end date this is the important as of right now you cannot file anymore end date was April 15th or 25th something like that 2022 so when I posted on Reddit that I like finally got my check-in, some guy was like, oh shit, cool, I'm gonna go submit my receipt. I was like, bro, no, it's too late. Um, but yeah, I got my I got my check, $1,200. It says Nissan versus, or Suarez versus Nissan settlement, $1,200, dot, dot, or dot zero, zero, boom, got my check. So I'm happy. It went through, it all worked out. I just wanted to give an update on what happened and how it was like handled. Uh, I'm happy I got my money back, but screw Nissan, screw Nissan for making a, like people go this route. Transmissions are shit, they try to deny it. Headlights are shit, they try to fight it. Air compressors or AC whatever's pieces of shit, they don't recall it when it's a very common problem, clear, like, look at my YouTube, it's a common problem that they don't wanna deal with. Nissan will try to fight tooth and nail before they recall. Everyone always complains like, oh, Ford recalled this many cars and Toyota recalled this. But at the end of the day, I have to give it to them because they're at least trying. Nissan fights so hard 
not to recall their cars. I think it's utter bullshit. I'd rather see them be some recalling, you know, 100,000 cars to fix something than them refusing to do anything about it and not acknowledging it and leaving us, the consumers, screwed. But yeah, as of right now, July 18th, got my check. Couldn't be happier. It's a nice $1,200 chunk of change I was not expecting to get for my Altima, which on right now is at $209,178. Um, transmission's still acting a little jerky. Uh, I am due for a my 30,000 uh, mile transmission fluid flush. I got it last on 180, we're at 209, so let's do... But yeah, screw Nissan. Thanks for watching.